press the record button. Okay, so I'm just very quickly going to talk on um, the, the, you know, the, 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 um, the interest in self-help books and also the difference between seeking spiritual knowledge and I'm going to call it the difference between spiritual experience uh, and, and spiritual intuition, you know, uh, which is a brilliant, which is a brilliant, a brilliant thing. Um, and also I'm going to talk about uh, um, self-help books and the idea that to, uh, the idea that I have a dependency on, on divinity, on God, is a weakness and I can do it myself, you know, and that that's quite kind of a weak, uh, weak, disempowering idea um, that I can read self-help books and that's enough. Uh, let go of the weak idea that I need to trust or depend on something uh, else that's not me. With, with that one, um, you see, the, the divinity thing is an invocation for support from the divine. And does Buddha need to do any kind of prayer or read a self-help book? No, 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 obviously not. Does Christ need to uh, pick up another self-help book? No, no, he wouldn't need <laughs> He wouldn't need to go into the local bookshop and pick up another self-help book for a bit more help. Um, and uh, so they they wouldn't. But but I mean, it is appropriate at a certain time. I mean, I think the idea and my personal take, take what you want, leave the rest, is most people who've got some kind of reasonable problems, um, most spiritual path. I mean, you know, like it, say Buddh Buddhism. You know, you got, you need to. I mean, if you're going to transcend all attachments that you've got to your thinking, to your thoughts, to this world, to others. If you're going to transcend that to reach Buddhahood, I mean, you might not be, I mean, it's um, once you, I mean, you might read a book and, and join a group to, to see what's going on there, or if you're going to practice uh, compassion and praying for others. But, but, um, but then, um, I mean, how, how long are you going to read books on that for? And uh, how long are you going to seek the knowledge? So, so there's that thing. I mean, of course, you might have the thing that, okay, so that's so that you'd be certain. I mean, this thing, there's a thing in the ego, which is endless curiosity for more knowledge. Um, and that's an, that's an ego trait, because once you've arrived, you're not curious, funny enough. When you're in the holy instant, when you're in the, uh, uh, the holy instant, when you're in the now, actually, curios curiosity doesn't exist in the now. Uh, or, or in enlightenment, there is no curiosity. Curiosity is like there's something in the future you need to find out more about before you can be happy now. You know, you could be happy now, or I could be happy now, or I could read another book to gain some more knowledge on how to be happy now. <laughs> That's kind of funny, isn't it? Because intellectual knowledge and curiosity about something else is, is the feeling of not enough now. If you do something, you'll get a hit. Let me read this book on cooking and adding extra spices to my thing. I'm quite curious to buy some cooking books on it, on spicing up my food and watching a few more. Let me go online and see a few more cooking programs to spice up the food. I'm quite curious about that. So is that divinity that's curious about that? Mm, that type of curiosity for me is ego curiosity um, because it wants to be in this in, in getting something which will give you something in the future, but you haven't got it now. So when you're in the now, in the infinite now, the timeless now, actually now is enough. Their curiosity silences. The intensity of just being in oneness right now means there is no curiosity. It doesn't exist. It, but I mean, there is such, you could say there might be things intuitive. You get in, intuition is a little bit different to curiosity. Intuition uh, is like you're getting an inner guidance from a realm which is not the ego to do something and it, it should be correct. You know, if you get an intu intuition, it's like the sixth dimension. It doesn't actually come from your ego mind. Your ego is actually, the energy of curiosity is ego. Uh, it, one of the things, I mean, the whole world is dominated by thinkingness and, and being addicted to your thinking and your head for answers. That's the whole thing of causality. The whole world is based on logic and thinking yourself out of all problems. Um, and, and the idea then to read more books is a great idea because knowledge is power and the more you read and the more you know. So these are all the belief systems of the intellect. 
Uh, and so there comes, a, you know, uh, well, you know, I'm, I nearly have 99% knowledge in this area. So if I read the next book, I'm probably going to be an expert. So that can be useful at a certain level. I'm not saying that's not appropriate at a certain level, but at a certain point it becomes a block to deeper, deeper, shall we say, spiritual experience, spiritual expression and spiritual intuition. So at a certain point, it does become a block. But the curiosity, I would say the energy of curiosity is from the ego. Uh, intuition is actually from the divine. And it comes out of nowhere. It doesn't actually come from your thinking process. The idea, anyone who's, who's got an ego, who doesn't, in my view, take what you want to leave the rest, who's not trying to call on divinity to block, to remove the blocks, for me is... Um, I mean, it's, it's still possible, I think, with the right teachings and teachers that there could be a book. But I think most of the self-help thing is the idea that the ego can do it on its own. You know, try harder. I used to look at this uh, self-development um, guru um, and, you know, doing, you know, do a thousand things and you'll make it happen today. And you get your, your action list. So for me, that type of thing is not actually... Um, being one with divinity or getting divine inspiration, intuition. It's more like the thing that's achieving in the world is, is the ego and the personal self. Anything that's higher vibration is dissolving the personal self. Okay, so, um, so the thing of when you're ready for spiritual experience and spiritual intuition, um, you've got a tool and now you just apply that tool to go deeper into your oneness, your experience, your nowness, and allow that presence and that divine orchestration or intuition, if you like, to drive your, your life in the now. So everything is, is given now. Nothing is needed to be sought. Nothing is needed to be done for the future because everything is coming up right now. You know, and everything right now is whole and complete and is perfect. So you get the thing of like, if you're blissed out and happy, you don't need another donut to be more happy. If you're in sublime peace right now, you don't need to read another book. I mean, that would be ridiculous. You wouldn't go to your head. Let me, let me start thinking about the next book I should read. You know, that's not gonna happen. So the, actually, so at a certain level, I mean, 12 steps, we have step 11. It's like, they now think you've cleared enough of your, your garbage away through steps one to 10, that you can now hopefully get a glimpse of spiritual awakening and spiritual experience, the silence beyond the intellect and the repressed feelings that seem to be blocking the sunlight behind everything. So, um, but self-help books, I mean, I'm not saying they're bad at a certain point for any person, but at a certain point they become a block. And I would say ego curiosity, I mean, ego curiosity doesn't exist in the now. Uh, just uh, experience being in the now, everyone has had glimpses of that. And you realize curiosity doesn't exist that you're just so dumbfounded with the ecstasy of what's here right now that you, there is, the energy to be curious about something else that's not in the now doesn't exist you realize then it, it's a kind of a needy wanting a fix from being curious to get a fix out of curiosity or more knowledge or gaining something which will give you a fix in the future so you see the the trap in that I mean, but that's advanced. I mean, I, I definitely reading an, reading a book, especially if you've got like a toilet problem, reading a book on plumbing is <laughs> probably a useful, a useful thing. I'm just a bit of a joke there. Um, anyway, so everything's appropriate. So sometimes self-knowledge is good. I would say, look, I had this with a neighbor who was actually, uh, funny enough, she was Christian. She passed away recently. She used to say to me, look, I said I had faith in God. And she said, don't, don't be weak. You can do it. And that was the thing. I saw it in the collective. Don't be weak relying on God. You can achieve what you want. Don't forget God. But um, but um, it has saved the lives of millions of addicts who were dying. So there must be something in it. Okay, I shut up.